right guys, so I'm getting ready to leave here in a couple minutes to go to Chase's football game, but I real quick wanted to chat with you guys. Um, I basically just spent the past couple hours um, dealing with getting our Instagram and Twitter accounts hacked and then I was blackmailed. And um, I want to share my story because I feel like this could happen to someone else and it's violating and frustrating and yet at the same time I feel like it's my fault because I didn't take the extra precautions to protect my accounts in fact I didn't even know they exist like I consider myself a pretty computer savvy type person however um I just didn't realize that um, I wasn't doing the right thing by having my accounts protected properly. So that is why I want to share this with you guys today because I want you to go on your YouTube accounts, especially if you have videos. I know so many of you guys that watch our channel have your own channels and um, you need to be doing this. Your Instagram account, your Twitter account, you can set these all up and protect yourself. So just real quick to share what happened because I know everybody's probably like, oh my gosh, what happened? And I would want to know too. Um, I'm not going to give details about the person who did this. Um, and um, at this point, the FBI is involved and our lawyer. And I'm going to let them handle that part of it. And I don't know if I'll ever talk about this again or not. Maybe I'll be able to share with you guys down the road. Um, once this person gets prosecuted, but you know how it is once authorities get involved They don't want you to say anything share any information do anything that could um, Affect things in fact, I probably shouldn't even be saying that right now But I'm going to because it's my right and it happened to me and I like I said I want to be able to share with you guys so you can um, prevent this from happening. So anyways, so around noon today, my Instagram and Twitter accounts were hacked into. And basically, um, when I got the email that my Twitter account was hacked, they changed my email address, they changed my password, and they, um, the email had said what city and state the person was located. Within a matter of minutes, and I mean minutes, I received a phone call from the area code matching that location. And um, they just hung up when I answered the phone. And then they texted me and it was pretty clear almost right away that they weren't just hacking my account to tease me or delete the account or anything like that. They threatened that they were going to share my personal information if I did not do what they were asking me to do. So I was blackmailed. I really wasn't concerned at that moment that they could share personal information. I mean, other than my email address and my phone number, if they shared that, if I had to change my phone number, like that's not the end of the world. I wasn't concerned with that. But then they threatened my YouTube channel. And that is where I just panicked. And even with the Instagram account, I was upset because I feel like this is something that I've worked on for so long. You know, um, just the thought of starting over. I just put so much pride into what I do. And... I don't know it just I can't even put into words I think you guys un will understand what I'm saying so basically what they wanted was for me to share a particular YouTube channel they wanted me to give a shout out they had already shouted out they had said on in, on Twitter we will give our family nest their Twitter account back when so-and-so receives 20,000 followers on their YouTube channel um, the account was at like 17,000 something and I believe they posted that on Instagram as well and they made the link in the account um, that per this person's YouTube channel. So what happened then was he told me he would give me my Instagram account back if I then posted a video on our channel giving this YouTube channel a shout out and once I did it he would give me my Twitter account back or once he gave me the account back then I had to put his friend's channel and the featured bar on our channel 
and so it sounds so juvenile so i believe it was a younger kid maybe andrew's age would be my guess but i don't know i call it andrew a kid but he's gonna be 21 next week but i felt it was in my best interest to do what he was requesting only because Ken wanted me to call the cops right away and handle it that way and I felt like that's great if cops show up at my door they don't care if I lose my Instagram account and whether I get it back or it gets deleted they don't care if my videos get deleted or something happens to my channel um they care about catching the hacker and so my priority first was I'm gonna get my accounts back they're mine I'm the one that worked hard to get them where they are and then I will turn everything over to the authorities so this is why I'm sharing it with you guys because there was not I wasn't aware that there was this two-step authentication process that you can turn on for all of your accounts and basically what it does is it prevents hackers from being able to get into your accounts because if they try to change your email address they try to change your password anything like that it will send you a text message with the six digit code that is needed to change your password or even enter the account for that matter. And so that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I'm not gonna do, like I'm not gonna show you what you have to do. If you're not sure what to do, just Google it and find out. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and your YouTube account, which is through Google, your Google account. You can go in, set up the two-step authentication. Basically, you're gonna enter your cell phone number, you're gonna set that whole process up, and you're gonna protect yourself from being hacked. I've done it with all my accounts now. I've done it with all Carly accounts now. <clears throat> and uh, it's just unfortunate that I wasn't aware that the process was out there. If I ever did see or hear about it, I must have just ignored it because I just didn't think that this would ever happen to me. No one ever thinks that it will happen to them. So I, I think that's it. That's our little update. I just wanted to share that so you guys could go right now, stop what you're doing, and go protect your account so this doesn't happen to you. And just thanks for your support. Thanks for everyone who tried to contact us during the process of uh, our accounts and stuff getting hacked today. We really appreciate it. And now we're gonna go off to a football game and it looks like it started to rain, so this should be fun. <laughs> All right, so I'm in the car right now with Courtney and we are on our way to my brother's game. Oh, and I forgot to grab an umbrella. Oh, well. Oh, well. But, yeah, this guess, is... I guess we'll get rained on. This is like the most boring day of the week for me. And boring. Yes. I love Tuesdays. All right, so here's what I'm wearing, white joggers. Courtney's wearing Adidas pants. <clears throat> By the way, Court. Oh, oh, what? TV. <laughs> Courtney's not um, quiet, by the way. She's actually very obnoxious. She never shuts up, can't you tell? What are you filming, Carly? <laughs> I'm zooming into Courtney. How rude. All right, guys, so we're at home now eating tacos for Taco Tuesday. So how was, what was the final score of your game? 26-20. 26-20, you guys actually won. <laughs> well, you lost quite a few. I um, ended up leaving when there was like six minutes left, and I left just in time. It started raining. Is it still raining? I think so. Mm -mm. No. Carly's friend left already because we have an eight o'clock curfew on school nights. Friends have to go home. That's why she's mad. <laughs> oh, she's not mad. She knew. Why'd your hair look all like crazy? You rolling around? You rolling around in, in Daisy's bed? <laughs> so, I, uh, we always have this problem when it's meal time too. I text everybody, well actually Carly texts the boys, Blake and Andrew and said dinner's done and they're still up there doing who knows what. So, it's not my fault if their dinner's cold. But it just is annoying because they're always like, where's the food, where's the food? And then I say dinner's done and no one's here. Why do they do that? Oh, mom. Yes. Oh. Carly wants me to show her new art drawing. Tell them about it. What is it? Well, what's it for? It's 
for this art thing, and if you win first place, you win five thousand dollars. Whoa! Just for your school, or it's like? I don't know. But um, you know the first project that I made the wrangle one or whatever. It's yeah. Be the art show. Oh, is it? Cool. Cool, cool. Late at night, I'm really tired. It's not that late. It's actually eleven. And I am completely exhausted. Candy stress. So today in summary, let's go through it real fast. Right? So I took your car in. To, I took Candy's car in to get it checked out because it was making a noise. And we think it's a bad axle. So, of course, I dropped that off. And I should have filmed all this. But it was just hectic all day. Right? So I take the car in. I drop it off. I run to the meat market because Carly wants steaks for dinner. I go to Home Depot because we blew an orange bulb for our orange lights outside. So all, the th all three lights would be orange. I bought that. And I'm almost home and the dealership calls and they said they can't take the tire off because it takes a special lug nut tool to get our tires off of our car. So I have to drive all the way back to the dealership again. Finally get that and then I come home and it's Candy's c Catastrophe Internet stuff. So we're dealing with that. Calling cops. Calling detectives. FBI called the attorney and I have to go pick up the kids I pick up chase actually I went to subway to get chase subway right so then I take uh, him subway pick up Carly bring her home then I run to the house the new house real quick just to see their progress then I go to chase's game I actually do all the announcing for the seventh grade game over the PA system I watch chase's game I go from there to my league football meeting because I am a um, a commissioner of Little League football still where the kids used to play. I still am involved in that. Then I came home. I missed out on Taco Tuesday, so I ate tacos. I went downstairs and I worked until just now and I'm now upstairs in bed. That's a lot of information in it. Is anyone bored yet? So that's what my day was. And I know Candy's day was just as crazy. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Chase, of course, is injured. Wouldn't let us film it. His ankle's swollen as big as a basketball. He said he heard it in pregame warm-ups, but yet still played on it. And he thinks he's going to practice tomorrow, which I don't think so. So I'm going to inspect it in the morning and see if he's cleared to go for practice which I don't think he is and he's gonna throw a fit because if he misses practice he doesn't think he'll get to play in the game next his last game next Tuesday but dad will make executive orders on that so that's it for today the question of the day is tell me about your worst day you've ever had today of course wasn't the worst day and I don't even want to think about my worst day because it'll just make me cry so but tell us what your worst day and what's your best day? Now let's just, we'll do worst day one day and then I'll ask you your best day on another day. So the question of the day is, what is your worst day ever? And that's it for today. Please thumbs up this video. If you like my ranting and raving, please leave a comment below and we'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.